In our previous video, we looked at just isosceles trapezoids and we found a ton of stuff inside the trapezoids. Uh, we looked at uh, angles and stuff like that. We talked a little bit about their diagonals. Uh, for this one, we're actually looking for an altitude. An altitude in these problems, uh, I'll draw it in green. An altitude is kind of another word for height. And when you drop an altitude, you need to go straight down. I'll use a different color there. You need to go straight down to the base. So we're going to go from that vertex to the base at a 90 degree angle. And we can draw a lot of altitudes, or you can really draw them anywhere, as long as they go from base to base at a 90 degree angle, right? Uh, but let's just focus on one of them for right now and uh, kind of get a feel for this problem and see if we can make some sense of it. So the, the altitude of this isosceles trapezoid is going to be here. Let's call it A, lowercase a. Since this is uh, isosceles, I do know that uh, 43 is over here and it's over here. All right, that's important. And I'm given the fact that the whole base is 117. And this base, the whole thing, is 95. All right, so in order to find the altitude of this, we're going to have to do a little bit of subtraction and a little bit of maybe Pythagorean theorem or something like that. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Well, okay, here's what we do. We take this. Uh, we take this altitude now. I'm going to redraw that one, and I'm going to think about that's also equal to a, and I'm going to think about how this uh, kind of breaks up, all right? I've got, let's see if I can do this down here a little bit. I've got a triangle that's pretty tall and skinny. I've got a triangle over here that's pretty tall and skinny. And the key to this is understanding that these triangles, this triangle and this triangle are exactly the same. The triangles are congruent. All right, the reason that is the case is because of this word isosceles. That word really kind of unlocks the whole idea. And of course, then we are left with, if we're sort of deconstructing this figure into three smaller figures, all right, the decomposition gives us kind of one figure, two figures, and three figures. The middle figure is going to be a rectangle. OK. so. The altitude remains. It's right here. It's also right here. It's right here. It's right here. Right? It's that vertical distance from base to base at a 90 degree angle. All right. The, the whole top is. Let me put a little space in here. Let's see if I can do this. Yeah. The whole top is 95. So I'll write that in. I'll put it in blue. That's 95. And what that means is that this is 95 as well. Remember our properties of rectangles, right? The opposite sides are congruent. But the whole distance from, the whole distance from, let's see, corner of the trapezoid to the corner of the trapezoid, I highlighted there, that whole distance is 117. So our job is to figure out what each of these bases is. Alright, so it's 117 take away 95. We're going to remove 95 from 117 because the 95 is actually in here. If we go back to our original diagram, that's 95 because it's exactly the same as up here. All right, this is 95, so this is 95. That makes sense. So if we subtract this, right, we go and we figure this out. I didn't even need to do that, silly. Uh, let's see, that's 2, that's 22, right? So the difference between 117 and 95 is 22. But this isn't going to be 22 because 22 sort of counts in both bases. And since they're both the same, it makes sense that we'll divide 22 in half. So we've got 11 and 11. 22 divided by 2 will give you the base of each triangle. Okay, so now we're ready, I think. We're good to go. I've got <clears throat> uh, this triangle here. I'll draw it again. I've got a 
right angle, I've got missing altitude, I've got 11, and I've got 43. That's a right triangle. We know two sides, we're missing the third one. So I'm going to go a squared plus 11 squared equals 43 squared. Remember the hypotenuse is across from the right angle. All right, and all you do now is you just get your uh, calculators out. Right, if you need to, that's totally fine. We get, uh, let's see, 121, uh, 43 squared. I don't know what that one is. I'll hit my calculators quickly here, 1849. And we want to, let's see, subtract 121 from both sides. Uh, let's see if I can do this in my head. That's, uh, let's see, that's 1728. That makes sense. And from there, we want to get rid of the little square. So we take the square root of both sides. So the square root of a squared is just a. And next is the square root of 1728. So our answer altitude is 41.569. That's how high our trapezoid is. And we don't have a unit on that, so we don't really t worry too much about it. We'll just literally write the word units. So the altitude, and that makes sense, right? It's a pretty tall, skinny triangle. so. We know, we clearly know that the hypotenuse has to be the longest, but in this case it's not too much longer than our altitude because our base is so small compared to the other two sides. So our altitude in that case is slightly less than 43, we'll call it 41.569. Right, and it all really kind of hinges on this idea of isosceles, right, the fact that the left leg and the right leg are the same and that kind of like sets off some nice congruencies in the picture right these triangles that sort of flank the rectangle left and right triangles are congruent which kind of helped us with all the other stuff